On the last episode of our big move, we drove through Ontario, stopping at Lake Superior to camp for the night. We continue our move across Canada and explore a few interesting destinations along the way. So one of the only cities in Canada that we uh, opted to detour through was Ottawa, the capital of Canada. We wanted to see all the big uh, gothic buildings and where all the craziness happens in the country. While we navigated the city, I took the lead as Rob was pretty worried about his trailer getting through some of these narrow streets. It was a tight fit, but we got the job done. Our one advantage is we got there super early in the morning, so the streets were pretty quiet. So we happily left Ottawa and headed east. Our campground tonight is in Quebec at the Riviere de Loup, right on the St. Lawrence River. It was a nice little campground, lots of green space and a glorious view of the St. Lawrence River. Great gentleman to the one side of us. I wanted to compliment him on his little camper that he had. And we had a great conversation in French, except I can't speak any French, but he was happy to tell me all about it in French. It was, it was great. After driving all day, it was really nice to go for dinner, and then we explored the city a little bit, went down to the St. Lawrence River to the beach, and just had some fun. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want it. Thanks, babe, for that amazing weather update. Well, we're getting very close to our final destination. We've been very tired from the driving thus far, but the journey has been amazing. We've done a lot of traveling uh, to different countries and stuff, but we've never actually traveled our own country. So driving across Canada was a huge milestone slash bucket list item for us. And with that goal soon to be completed, we were excited to make this province our new home. Caitlin almost drove off the bridge for the waterfall. We'd have to mark Grand Falls and come back in the summer. In the meantime, I was on a mission and I wanted to get to our destination. One 
one of our first impressions of New Brunswick was just in awe of how green it was and how beautiful. All the waterscapes. Like we both grew up in the Okanagan where there was lakes and beauty everywhere. But just being by the ocean had a different feel, a different smell, and it just, it was so beautiful. And yeah, I can second that. My favorite seasons are spring and summer because of just how green and lush it is. And, and New Brunswick has that in spades. Vast forests, oceans, lakes, rivers, everything you could ask for. It was here. An interesting fact we learned about New Brunswick is that it is the only official province to be bilingual. So while at times I feel like I can barely speak English, a lot of people in New Brunswick can speak fluently in both French and English. Je suppose qu'il est temps d'apprendre le français. Je sais pourquoi est temps d'apprendre le français. Wow, okay, I guess it's time to learn some French is what yeah. he was trying to say. This is home. Oh, there's still a camper in there. Apple tree over there. Can't wait to get in there. <laughs> this is our before. <laughs> what we were left with on the property here. There's a little shed. This is our little trailer that we have renovated and we've got it set up for us. Two trampolines over there we gotta get rid of. And the dogs are so happy. <laughs> After driving seven days and over 4,300 kilometers, we finally made it to our property. We set up camp, and now the real work begins. Oh crap, that's where we're supposed to go. Oh. <laughs> 
We passed it. Oh, well. Look at that view. It's a nice view. Oh my goodness. On the next episode of Raven Willow Farmstead. This is my new home. All this junk. The water, if there's water. <laughs>